us for that. Did you, were you ever but, tempted, or were you, and obviously the, the president of the administration, tempted to walk away? What was the moment, yeah, what yeah. was the most crucial moment for you? <laughs> there were several. There were a number. In fact, a week out, there was a moment in the evening um, uh, when we really thought this wasn't going to happen. And I sat down with my fellow foreign ministers from Germany, France, China, Britain, uh, Russia, and, and we talked about how do we deal with this possibility that it may not happen, and therefore, where will things go in the Middle East as a result of that? Then the next day, I had a personal conversation with my counterpart from Iran, and we really kind of talked about the stakes for the world, for the region, for all of us. And I said, look, if you're not serious, we're ready to go home. You make up your mind. And they came back, and somehow we managed to get back on track. And, and obviously, about a week later, we closed uh, the agreement. You've uh, related your experience in Vietnam to your determination to get this deal. What, what is the connection between the two of those? War. I mean, if we didn't get an agreement with Iran, the pressures that would have mounted because Iran would have been pursuing its program. So it was war or the deal, essentially. Well, our perception was it wouldn't have been war day one or immediately. But if Iran continued to enrich and Israel and other countries in the region saw them doing that, then the pressure was going to mount inexorably to have to do something about it. And if you've tried negotiation and have failed or you can't negotiate, you then wind up being pressured towards uh, conflict. And, you know, what I learned in Vietnam was uh, pretty simple, that uh, it was a war in which too many of my friends died and died, I, I believed, under uh, circumstances that might have been averted had different choices been made by people in positions of responsibility. And I vowed that if I was ever one of those people in a position of responsibility, I would do everything in my power to make sure that young men and women in America were never sent to war unless it was a last resort. Um.